there, my name is Karen and I'm going to explore with you this unique and very interesting plantation house and estate. This land was developed and bought by a UK master builder together with his wife five years ago who also designed and built the properties on it in conjunction with Marie Canizares, the Cebu eminent architect. Now I'm pretty sure you'll be surprised to see the result. So come on now, let's go inside. So the first building that we come to see is a two-bedroom gatehouse. Note the Smart Dome CCTV camera that can be controlled and monitored from anywhere with the use of an internet connection. You can even use it to speak to visitors at the gate. So up in the driveway, note the beautiful flowers and the varied bushes in the either side of the road and in the front garden of the guest house. When you look to your left, we have very many different fruits and vegetables from pineapples, oranges, mangoes, guayabanos, corn, and etc. So this is the guest house, which has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two kitchens with a dining and TV rooms. So this is the workshop and the maintenance equipment storeroom. Plus, we have here a three-bedroom staff quarters complete with bathroom and kitchen plus a 20-foot container used for storing materials. So on our right here, we have our water system supply equipment. From the deep well, the water is pumped up to the tank at a high level, which is then gravity-fed to the three lower storage tanks. The three lower storage tanks have a total capacity of 20 cubic meters. It is then drawn into the pump plant room to pressurize the two storage cylinders. The water then goes through a filter and softening process before supplying the houses. On a side note, there's also a parking space here for visitors. So now, we will be approaching the main house. And as you can see, there is plenty parking space enough for a dozen vehicles or more. So let's not forget this whole area which is beautifully landscaped that is filled with various and abundant flowers, bushes, and trees. This makes the whole area very colorful. So we are now at the main entrance to the house which we are then greeted with a spacious entrance lobby. Walk with me. We have here our powder room for our guests. Then we have our cloaks covered for guest convenience. Take note of this beautiful porcelain tiles, the mactan stone staircase, plus the ornate chandelier. The whole floor of this house is a massive 1,115 square meters. And with the double height of the lobby, you get a true feeling of space and airiness. So we now go through these very solid sliding doors fitted with anti-sun tempered glass. So here we have our enclosed area of the house which we have our large pool with a water and fire feature, which is set in a 500 square meters. In the pool side, we have our sun beds and the Dolphin Robotic Pool Cleaner. It saves a lot of time and energy as it cleans the bottom of the pool and climbs to the sides. And as you can see, it keeps the pool sparkling clean. After a refreshing swim, we also have our pool shower here. We have here our, our pool side table with a fire feature which gives off that romantic vibe when turned on. Let's not forget, when you relax after the pool, we have our poolside chill out room where you can relax, just lie around. After this, we have a barbecue hut, can grill, cook out with friends. Here we have our poolside lounge area shaded by the sail where you can enjoy an evening with friends, just talk and chill, maybe have a few drinks. So 
So over here, we have our Lazy Susan table for outside dining under this covered area by the pool. This is where we had our lunch earlier. So now we move through here. We have our very spacious main living area, which we have our snug area with a 70-inch Samsung Smart TV and surround sound system. So over here, we have our brunch and breakfast kitchen area with quartz worktops. So over here, we have our pop-up socket, which has a built-in Bluetooth speaker. Over here, we have our drinks cabinet with a tons of wines. Our integrated fridge, below is the freezer. We have our ceramic induction hub and extract fan unit. Over here, we have our concealed drawers used for storing utensils, knives, and other kitchenwares. Our Bosch dishwasher, hidden storage bin. And over here, we have our Bosch microwave and our double oven. So from our brunch and breakfast kitchen worktops, we have our dining table that seats 14. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This is not actually an aquarium. This is not what it seems. This is actually a 55-inch Samsung frame smart TV that is on a recessed cantilever wall that swings out for viewing by the pool. Clever idea, right? So now from there, we move on to the main kitchen where we again have our hidden bin storage, our Bosch dishwasher, which is located here, our ceramic hub, the gas oven, and another extra hood unit. On to the next, we have our pantry, which has a direct access to the driveway for convenient goods deliveries. From here, we have our dirty kitchen, which also has a gas oven and fully fitted storage units. So now we go to the outside, which has side access to the gate. Coming from the side access to the gate, we have here our shower and toilet room for outside use. So over here, we have a storeroom, which contains the gas bottle for the two ovens. On the room beside it, we have a pool plant room that contains the Hayward pool equipment used for cleaning the pool. So from the pool plant room, we have an outside shower that is also used for, for bathing the dogs. Or you can also use it for like washing over after using the pool. And as you can see, these doors hide away completely to bring the pool area into the house. This is actually great for parties. Note the solid mahogany doors with stainless steel ball hinges and handles. Now you may be wondering where this door leads to. So, let's see. So this, is the fully set up home theater and library with a professional Bose surround sound system and an 85 inch 8K Samsung Smart TV. Coupled with a Panasonic 8K DVD player, the sound and viewing experience is spectacular. So, returning back to the lobby. We find ourselves with a formal dining area that seats for 12 with an overview on the pool area. So coming back from the lobby hallway, this door leads to the service area. There's a separate entrance door from the front er parking area 
also has a view on the garage. And here we also have a secondary staircase that leads up to the second floor. So from the service area, we have here an internal door that leads to the garage and a separate PE room. Here we find the laundry room, all fully fitted out. Now moving along, we also have here our pool changing room. From the pool changing room, we now exit to the rear service door to where the sun beds are stored and where the owner's workshop is located, used for maintaining his motorbike and ATV. So around the corner, here is a 50 kVA generator with an automatic changeover switch found in the adjacent EE room, which supplies all the buildings during any brownouts. And also our own 50 kVA transformer on the pole. Here we have the garage. And as you can see, with two big cars, there's still plenty of room. So this is the EE room, and we have here the automatic changeover switch for the generator. So now we're back in the pool on, and now we're heading to the gate, which leads access to the 3.3 hectares of land, which is to be sold together with the house. The stone from these stairs were made from local Matan stone. These were laid and finished by a special contractor. So note the spacious landing with the wood effect tiles that leads to the communal balcony over the porch. This is just one of four large balconies around the house with an overlooking view in the mountains and the sea. And it is large enough for small drinks and parties. Since it is a long way back down to the kitchen, here we have a drink station that has been provided for use on this floor for convenience. There's a fridge and freezer, water machine, sink, coffee machine, and plenty of cupboards for cups and glasses and etc. So we now head for the master bedroom suite. Through this door, we have a female dressing room that has a shoe carousel that can hold up to 70 pairs and fitted wardrobes and drawer units. We then have a male built-in wardrobes and drawer units in this adjacent room. Which can hold up to a lot of clothes and success. The ensuite bathroom is very spacious with a walk-in shower, bathtub, double vanity unit, and etc. Moving forward, we have our bedroom which has a lot of space. The bed was specially made at two by two meters, and there is a 65 inch Samsung Smart TV for nighttime viewing and individual LED reading lights over the bed. So from the bedroom, we have our large balcony that is very large for social gatherings with views of the pool, the sea, and the wild garden planted on the slope in front of the balcony. The owner's land goes up to the tops of the trees. So from the master bedroom, we now head on to our bedroom number two, which is also very spacious and with a 60-inch Samsung Smart TV. In our bedroom number two, we have our two built-in wardrobes with a built-in mirrors on the insides of the doors. And note the bespoke 
solid mahogany furniture that is for sale with the house. From here, we move on to our ensuite bathroom that has a shower and a bathtub, plus a double vanity unit and a storage cupboard. Through here, we have a large door that leads to the balcony, which is shared with our bedroom number three. So this is the view on our shared balcony. We have our mountain view, our sea view, which is a great place for a cup of coffee in the morning. So we now leave in the balcony by passing our bedroom number three, which has a similar setup in the adjacent room. Now moving along to this cupboard, we find the large hot water cylinder, which is pressurized and provides fast flows to the showers and taps. So from there, we have our linen cupboard, which is used to store our bedroom linens, bathroom items, and other cleaning materials. So from the linen cupboard, we move on to our bedroom number four, which has similar design to our bedroom number three. It has ensuite shower room, built-in wardrobes, TV, and etc. So now we come here to our office number two, which is ideal for remote working. Moving on, we also have another office or can be used as a media or games room. Instead, if two offices are not required, as plenty large enough for a pool or ping pong table. So from our offices, we have this door that leads us to the guest accommodation, which can also be accessed from the service door downstairs from the front parking area via the secondary staircase. There's a further linen cupboard to serve this area. From there, we also have a room for gym with exercising machines, loose weights, and a 50-inch Samsung Smart TV. So in this room, here we find the fully fitted kitchen with dishwasher, fridge freezer, water machine, and oven. So from the kitchen, we then move on to our living room and dining room, which is fully furnished. So from our fully furnished living and dining room, we have a shared bathroom for our bedrooms number five and six. So from our fully furnished living and dining room, we have two further bedrooms, five and six. So both bedrooms have Samsung smart TVs and built-in wardrobes. Now both bedrooms have an access to the balcony that houses the Daikin aircon outside units. Plus, it also has a panoramic mountain views. This house was built by UK master builder, so you can surely guarantee the quality of this house. With the mountain and sea views, who would not want to live here? <laughs>